Hello again. My next question from the Twitterverse about PhDs comes from Dr. Mike Kent. And Mike asks, what are your thoughts on the PhD via prior publication compared to a more traditional thesis? Great question, Mike. This is one of my favourite ideas, one of my favourite topics of conversation, and it gets me into a lot of trouble. So let me tell you what I really think, and it's probably going to get me into a lot of trouble. Here we go. Now, as we've talked about already in some of these answers, there are many different types of PhDs. And one of them is a PhD by prior publication. For guys and gals who don't know what that is, a PhD by prior publication is what it says on the tin. That means someone has had a series of published refereed articles, they are bundled together, and the candidate writes a synopsis at the front of it, linking those publications together, if you will. Okay? So all going well so far. Is it equivalent to a traditional PhD? My argument is it's not. It's meant to be, but I can't see remotely how that is equivalent to taking three years and engaging in a long-standing research project. And, you know, yes, it's a PhD. Would I allow one of my PhD students to be examined by somebody with a PhD by prior publication? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Does it have value? Yes, it does. So for a guy or a gal who is 40 or 50 and has an academic career, perhaps interrupted by children, and they have the publications but they've never got round to the PhD, this is a fantastic initiative which I support completely. So PhD by prior publication, terrific. Equivalent to a traditional PhD, no, but valuable, yes.